friends, I am Dr. Adhesh Singh and I welcome you to Adhesh Academy. Friends, in the modern time, we have many career options. A few decades ago, the people will generally go for engineering or in medicine or maybe in civil services and other government jobs. But today, the opportunities have multiplied. You have, in addition to these careers, you have the career of law, hotel management and so many other careers. So people are confused. In addition to that, there is also a craze nowadays for following the passion and doing something which you love to do, like writing, singing, acting, dancing. In addition to that, we also have people who want to become an entrepreneur, open their own company, do a startup. And so you see, there is a sea of opportunity nowadays. In one way, it is good, but on the other way, it is wrong because people are confused. They don't know what is to be done. So today we are going to discuss about seven rules which can help you decide your career plan. So first of all, I would like to tell you something about the Maslow's Law of Hierarchy, which is a very, very important thing for all of us to understand. Now this Law of Hierarchy says that we have five layers of hierarchies and we try to achieve from the lowest level to the highest level. On the lowest level, we have physiological need, which means we want food, water, shelter, clothing and all that. Without this, we cannot survive. Once these physical needs are satisfied, then we want safety. We want safety of the body, we want safety of the job, we want safety of our loved ones. The safety needs come next. After the safety, then we have love or belonging needs. Even though we are safe and secure, but we want to be respected, we want to be liked, we want to be loved and we want to love people. That is also one of the fundamental needs, but that comes at the level three. After that, there is a need of self-esteem. We want confidence. We want self-esteem. We want to achieve something in our life. We want to be something. We want to be known. We want fame. Now that is basically a esteem need. And finally, at the highest level, we have self-actualization need, which actually talks about creativity, like writing, trying to discover ourselves, what is our you know, fundamental strength and try to achieve what we are. The spiritual needs, the morality, the creativity and all that needs are there. Now, a complete human being is one who is able to satisfy all the needs. But if we jump at the level 5 or level 4 before thinking about the lower level need, then we are likely to be frustrated. We have to move step by step and the same thing we should apply while choosing a career path. So I would like to give you seven rules which can help you decide your job, your career, your future. The first important rule is that the career path which you choose should give you a decent salary or income. See, there are many careers which are very, you know, charming. For example, a film star, a writer, an artist. You hear about those people that they are making millions and millions. But have you ever thought how many of them are making millions? For every person who becomes a superstar, there are thousands of people who are playing the role of extra throughout their life. In the same way, for one writer whose copies are sold a million, there are millions of writers whose copies are hardly sold a few thousand copies. Very few people can make a living out of that. If you see how many writers are making even, say, 50,000 rupees in a month, you will find that in a country like India, maybe not even a dozen people will be making money like that. So if you are planning to have a career in such profession or any profession, you have to ensure that you get a decent income because without income you cannot survive. So this is your first requirement. How much of the assured income you are going to get every month? Second important thing is that whatever you are planning, it should be within your caliber. There are jobs we know which are very, very tough. There are careers we know which are very, very tough. For example, getting into IIMs or top IIMs or IITs or let us say into civil services is extremely tough. Only one in a maybe a thousand person gets selected. Now in that situation, if you are planning something like that, then obviously your chances of getting selection is much lesser. On the other side, if you choose some career, let us say engineering career, which is a very common uh, career nowadays, you have at least 10 lakhs jobs available every year. And so your chances of getting into that or getting a job of a decent job is pretty good. So this is an important criteria that you must see what the person who is at the 100 position or 1000 position makes 
in your chosen field. If a person at the 100 rank is not able to survive or a 1000 rank is not able to survive, perhaps it may not be a right place to go. First, you have to ensure that your physical needs are satisfied. Third important thing is that the job should give you some sort of security. You are hired today and you are fired tomorrow. Whatever good salary you are getting, you are not sure. If you can't be sure that you will be working next month or next day, then that profession is not good, even though they are paying a good salary today. Because you are always very uncertain. Try to choose a job which will be giving you security. Of course, government job is the best as far as the security is concerned. But even the private sector jobs in India are quite secure because hardly anybody is removed from that. You will find that unless you are really very, very bad, you will not be removed from that. So that is also a job which gives you security. Insecure jobs are which are in the unorganized sectors where you know you can be fired on the next day because you are not in the payroll of the company also. That should not be given a priority. You should try to get a job which is a secure job. The fourth important thing is that the job should be respectable. For example, let us say you are a car driver. Now a car driver or somebody who is open a shop of a tea, he may be making a good amount of money. But whether that job is giving you respect in the society, that also you have to see. Because job is your identity. It gives you respect. It gives respect to all the members of your family. And therefore, this should also be a criteria that even though the salary may not be that high, but if suppose the job is respectable, gives you importance in the society, that should also be one of the important criteria to you. Next important thing is that your job should give you good working environment. There are many companies where you can be just hired and fired. Anytime you can be removed. The competition is very tough. The merit is not rewarded. In many jobs like police and army, and there are many other jobs, where the working condition is very, very tough. You have to stay for night, full night you have to work. You have to uh, work at different places. You can be transferred any places. You have to stay away from your family. All those things are there. So you must consider that whether that is something which you want. Because that is also one of the criteria that ultimately you want love, relationships and family also. If you are sacrificing your family life for a job, maybe it is giving you a better salary it may not be worthwhile. There are many jobs which may pay you very well, but you have to travel a lot. You have to actually go and get the orders where there is a constant pressure on you. So you have to see whether you should go for that job or not. Personally, I believe that you should try to get those jobs which actually are peaceful and they give you a good personal life also. Sixth important thing that is why is that a job which gives you time to spend with your family and also with yourself so that you can develop and nurture your abilities that is also a good job. So the sixth important thing is that a job which gives you time to yourself and family. This also should be a very important criteria and you should prefer a job which is giving you enough time. And finally and the seventh important thing is that you should choose a job which suits your temperament and values. See every job does not suit everybody. Everybody cannot be a police officer, everybody cannot be an army officer, everybody cannot be a government officer, everybody cannot be a marketing person. But unfortunately, most of the people, when they are choosing the job, they look at the salary only. They don't see what they are going to do. If you are a creative and you are a monotonous job, your life is hell. At the same time, if you are not creative and you are in a field where you have to constantly compete in the creative field, it may not be good for you. So you must choose a job which is suiting to your temperament and your fundamental values. Now a person who is a vegetarian person, if he chooses a job of a butcher, butcher and he has to kill the animals every day, I think that's the most difficult job for him. So you must see that the job should be such where you don't have to compromise your fundamental values. So I hope that you have been able to understand these seven concepts. And if you are able to follow these seven principles or seven rules, you can choose the job which you are going to like forever in your life. Thank you very much for watching the video. And I hope that you have understood that while making a career decision, don't follow the rat race, rather choose a job which is the best for you. Thank you.